Alrighty, everybody, we are back. More Valorant action on the evening. Thank you for being here. CSP Gold Squad getting ready to take on Bushnell University here. But so far here, looking to be a good set between these two squads here. This is a NACE rescheduled game. So we are going to be checking out how this Bushnell squad is going to be doing. I didn't get a good chance to check over the standings or anything. So not really sure where this squad sits. I believe they're near the top of the rankings for their respective division. So the gold squad should have a pretty solid opposition that they are taking on here tonight. Haven being the first map of the evening, followed up by Ascent. Haven being the map pick of Bushnell. And then a map three of Icebox, a classic closeout if needed. This CSP Gold Squad has been tested uh, pretty heavily over the last two weeks. They've gone into two reverse sweeps. They went down map one, and they bounced back to win the next two games. So overall... Very good uh, form being shown from the CSP Gold Squad, being able to bounce back and come back and take some of those games that they showed over the last few weeks here. As we run down the lineup, representing the Golden Bears here for Game 1, CSP Goosey on the breach, Vista on the chamber, Cookie Doe hovering that Sova, six stack on the jet, and Big Z to round out on the Omen and the Smokes. For the Gold Squad also beginning on the attacking side of Haven here. Getting ready to get into action here. Thanks again for everybody for being here. CSP Gold looking to stay at only one loss in this NACE division. KO Knife going to spot out six stack over at this A Lurk, but smoke up at top front C. And now going to push in aggressively. A bit of a risky play. Chamber up close in personal. Going to find the first of the round. Now Big Z pushing through. Fade Hunt going to spot him out. And now trouble as all hell's breaking loose on this C site. Few shots going back and forth here. 3 4 ensues. CSP down a man and down HP heavily here on Big Z. Gonna get a smoke off towards Garage, but gets swung out from Ginger. Now a one on three. Six stack has it all stacked against him here. Has to get through this omen smoke. They hear him coming through. He finds one. Two players not looking at him. Six stack tapping away through the smoke. Won't quite find the shots. And in the end, it is Bushnell Uni pulling out pistol rounds. So, 1 0 lead for the opposition. No more Mr. Nice with the 3K, man. Coming out from the C site. In a bit of a risky play, I'm honestly putting that smoke up at the front. Um, no real pot flash available for the side of CSP Gold. So, honestly. I'm not too big of a fan of that smoke up front. It just gives uh, the defenders a, a position to play in, right? Play up close, catch you off guard when you push through that smoke. So, you know, more of a more of a KO Phoenix play. So, a little bit of a lack of realization of what our comp really has in store there. So, CSP gonna suffer from it and drop the pistol round. Six stack pushing aggressively into Garage Vista to follow. Headhunter out. Beautiful headshot found from the LGL Vista. And now the C hit coming back through quickly. A nice TP out quickly from the chamber. Going to use the rendezvous to get back safely to CT. And now a four on four. A Spectre in hand for Vista. So going to have to find some more elims here to give CSP a chance at stealing this round away. Can't find the shots on the Ginger. The KO finding one there. Now smoke up close for Big Z. Going to gather this Spectre. 15 in the mag. Goes for a reload, so now player's going to know he's close out logs. The rest of the gold squad going to have to stand tall. Goose, Big Z going to go down, finds one for his troubles. Now it's a one on three. Not going to happen as Cookie Dough will fall. And Bushnell take a 2-0 lead in this one. Good hold from the chamber on that site. And he might even have tour de force. He does, dude, off this defuse. That is nuts. Chamber coming out with the round three tour de force. Six elims plus a couple defuses will take care of that. No problem. So now uh, a very tough opportunity for the side of CSP. They have the gun round going in their favor, but up against a tour de force. So really going to have to play cautiously at the beginning of this round. Get the information on where this chamber is playing and rotate accordingly. You don't really want to test this uh, this chamber right now. I mean, tour de force could put a, a very bad start to this game in favor of CSP Gold here. Economy would be full reset if uh, he was able to put out the damage with the tour. So, big round up for CSP Gold and a tour to four shot coming out from A long. So, 
certainly knowing what is up against him. And if I'm Gold Squad, I am out of here. There is no point in sticking around this Tour de Force. It's the best weapon available for the side of the Bushnell squad, and frankly, you shouldn't even peek it again. We'll see how they react. A bit of a B split coming up mid from Beast up. Has Big Z holding his bottom garage. Nice break of the trip here. And now going to fall back a little bit. They hear rotation coming on the A site. Goosey's up close at short. Plus Jet, so maybe a late rotation back onto the A site here. Could be a chance of cracking this thing open. One smoke comes in, and now the peak to follow. Let's see if Chamber rotated, and he didn't, man. A freebie given over from the heaven spot. Paranoia going to come out, and now CSP Gold going to try to flood onto this A site. Heaven being smoked off for now. Fade C's coming out for main. KO Knife going to spot Goosey out close. And now the retake underway. Big Z finds the first of the round. Kenny going to find one from Heaven. And a swing out from CT. But good shots coming out from Vista. Making it a two-on-two. -two. Now Cookie Dough. And Vista left with it all to do. The 3K found from the Chamber. Now a two-on-one. -on -one. Chamber low HP though. Going to have to play cautiously. Cookie caught with the drone out. And that is something that you cannot afford. Vista low on HP. in a tricky spot. But he gets the swing on the Crow. A big 4K found. From the IGL, pulling back around that frankly shouldn't have gotten that close, man. A tough, uh, a tough fought, fought out round, but Vista coming out huge with four elims for himself and getting CSP gold onto the board. Expending that tour to force was big from the side of the gold team, but now weaponry going to be back on par for the side of Bushnell, and they will be able to buy up accordingly, rolling into this next round here. A one to two lead, er, uh, advantage for the side of Bushnell right now. Really sucked towards a lobby control. Pushed up from Astra. Gonna get a couple shots off, but now being aggressive. Vista trying to clear out short. Gonna have to clear up close. Not spotting anything quite yet. Big Z from the shadows into heaven. Reyna right below him and Astra as well. Big Z now trying to get into a position to do some damage, but he can't quite find anything yet. It's down to Cookie Dough and only Big Z and a two on four. Going to have to find this next couple shots here. Big Z has to make his presence known here. Up at heaven, Cookie Dough holding the flank. Big Z will find one. Now a two on three. Cookie Dough trying to get out and make some space here. Big Z got to give him some cover from up top. The Prowler to come out. Noting that he's still up here. Going for the Paranoia peak from Big Z, but two up close. And they get the job done. A big round found for Bushnell. Increasing their lead to 3-1. And now it's going to be CSP on the side of an economy reset here. Down a few rounds. Vista going to go for an early tour de force here. Going to try to see if he can swing back in the side of the gold squad here. Weaponry going to be non-existent for the remainder of the Golden Bears. I think Goosey's got a sheriff. And besides that, they're hoping and praying for this tour de force to sing over here on the seaside from Vista. Cosmic Divide available for the defenders. Oh, and a nice shot coming out for no more Mr. Nice. Good angle towards back plat there. Getting the better of Vista. And now a tough situation here for the rest of the Golden Bears. A beautiful double swing coming out from a short. Going to take out the first. Six deck up next. Thinking about peeking, but going to grab the Sheriff instead and try to bail out. Not going to happen. Beautiful shot from Crow. Oh, a dink coming out for six stack, but not getting the Elim. And now pulling all the way back out towards top mid with his teammate Cookie. And a two on five. We'll see how much damage uh, these two players can put out. Haunt going to go ahead and spot out mid. Knife to follow as well. So good utility coming out from these defenders doing nicely to figure out where these attackers are remaining good shots coming out from six stack will take out on phase drops the smoke trying to get the cross spotted one gets the vandal for his troubles sees one at bottom garage now so 1v4 situation here for six stack nice first headshot found onto the ko one player towards b main so running back over towards this operator on chamber we'll see if he's still here not posted up at back plot most likely rotated towards ct or garage backside it is and the final shot going to come out for Bushnell. A 4-1 lead here.
as CSP back onto a gun round, and I think this is where I'm gonna blow the time out. I think we gotta get something going here, so we'll get it going. As we get back into it, a three round advantage for the side of Bushnell right now. CSP Gold desperately looking to crack back into this first half here. And I'm hoping this one's going to work. We're going to go aggressive towards a short, show early face, try to get a pick over here. And it's no more Mr. Nice who's playing up close with the operator and TP's out safely. So a good reposition of this op, but now trying to take space over here at B main. Ooh, Astra spotted over on B site. So now, how will the side of CSP Gold react? A few players getting spotted at bottom grass from KO in Garage. Four on five, Chamber surely gonna start coming over this way. Nice Astra star to cover up front of B main. Nothing being given over from these defenders so far. Vista starting to creep up C long now. Astra spotted on front B site. Good frag found from Big Z. Going to get traded out towards mid. Now A link getting spammed away from. Going to go for a tap plant here. Big Z committing to it. Cookie Dough not there in time to cover him. And in the end, a round going back the way of Bushnell. And that's going to hurt the side of CSP Gold. Money's going to be back down to a save, it seems. And now struggling to get onto the board here. So very interested to see how they approach this next round. A few ultimates available for this squad. But right now, weaponry well in favor of the side of Bushnell right now. Plenty. I mean, that op has really been doing the damage. 11-1 and one right now for No More Mr. Nice. Smoke up top C again. I mean, they know exactly what's coming. Smoke coming out, the pop, six stack gonna find the first with the blade storm, so great entry found. And now an opening and a window for the side of the gold squad to get onto the site. Big jump up from Goose gonna find a dink on a ginger, but not gonna be enough for an Elim. So four on four now. KO a little bit tagged up towards garage. Vista could hit a huge shot right here. Taps chamber once, but not gonna be enough damage in the end. Cosmic divide coming out. Big Z sees him swing out and just doesn't pull the trigger. Six stack in a tricky spot. Going to get taken out through the smoke. Now Spike being tapped. Beast is not pulling the shots quite yet either. And it's going to be Bushnell with a good retake. Getting back onto that site and getting that spike diffused. Weapon choice. It is so personal. Huh? You pick a gun and it tells me who you are. One to six now. CSP back on a buy. So that last round coming on the save. Had an opportunity to take it, but couldn't find the elims that they needed. Right there. This op still doing the work right now for this defensive side of things. Here we have it. An A approach off the rip here. Ooh, a step hurt at close and or er, dirt here. Might have been Big Z, but now 
creeping up onto a site. It's no more Mr. Nice finding the first blood of the round onto Vista and TPing out safely. Rolling Thunder coming out for the breach and now going aggressive on this A site. Rainalier's coming out to deny, but Spike Plant being initiated now. Four on five situation. Man advantage for the side of Bushnell. Steps being hurt close. The Nightfall going to come out and completely cut out the hearing from the side of CSP. Big Z finds two. Cookie will add one and six stack to follow. Finally, CSP Gold getting back onto the board here after a huge retake denial there on the side of Bushnell. Committing the Nightfall and committing, I believe, the Cosmic No, that was last round. So, in the end, though, big round found for the side of CSP Gold. Getting back onto the board on this attacking half. A few more rounds left here, four in total. As the gold squad trying to close this score gap a little bit here, down four rounds, but four to go, an opportunity to tie things up at 6-6 if they could string some rounds together. So we shall have to wait and see how they approach. KO running across B mean with a knife out. Absolute madman. Six stack creeping up forward. Breaks out the chamber trip and now looking for this KO. Nothing being found right now. Spike being planted quickly on this B site. And now post plant situation. Four on four. Cookie Dough looking for the taps at A main. Won't find it. Big Z's the man to do it. Now a four on three. Six stack. They know the ops over here at C link. Good blind coming out from Big Z, but it won't quite reach the chamber. Repositioning nicely with that operator. Now three on two. Vista will take out the fade. That op still in play. CSP have to be careful. They know it's close at C-Link. Good crossfire being put down and a nice smoke coming out from Six Stack. And it doesn't seem like Chamber's going to have the time to get onto this site. Another round going the way of CSP Gold. Getting back-to-back -back rounds. So, good things coming here for the side of CSP Gold. Cookie Dough going to get taken out from the spike. So, a bit of an unfortunate uh, sequence there. Money not looking the best. So it would have been nice to keep another rifle alive. But overall, nothing to really complain about. CSP starting to make some waves back into this game. We'll see uh, the next adaption, though, coming up here. Weaponry looking pretty solid. Chamber still going to have an op for his troubles. So Gold Squad definitely going to have to be ready for this op to be positioned over here at sea. It's been a common uh, spot for it. Early smoke coming out. And that's a crazy shot found through the smoke there from the chamber. Going to take out Jut on the entry. And a wall bang as well on the Goosey now. Fade back sight. Going to shut down this push entirely. And CSP Gold Squad is just getting taken care of one member at a time here. Wind. Show me where to go. So, getting taken care of towards bottom mid early on on this push. Big Z down to 2 HP almost instantaneously. Goosey going to find one on the push. Shutting that down, but it's Chamber who has been dominating with that op all game long, man. 16 and 2. Just lighting it up right now. Big Z spots one back sight. Smoking himself off again. Man, this is just a giveaway. It's just a good way. You can't, you can't do it, man. You just can't do it. That's like, I don't know how we haven't realized that throwing that smoke's bad. Last round before the switch. Last round of the first half. Four ultis available for the defenders, man. Chambers got dual wield ops right now. He's gonna pop tour to force, and he's got the operator in hand. So there's gonna be a Kimbo ops coming out for Chamber. 
man. Tough one so far here in the first half. CSP Gold definitely going to have to bounce back here. Looking to take this last round for morale's sake. Make it a 4-8 half and then come out and win the pistol round. And then just like that, you can be back in the game. But the KO knife immediately going to spot out where this hit is coming from. So Defender's going to rotate accordingly. And Astra's got an op now, I guess. Why not? Early flash from Goose will take out the Astra. Good swing from the lad. And now... The rest of the gold squad trying to crack open this A site. Rainalier's coming in to deny, but the more time that is wasted getting onto the site, the more time is given over for rotation. Cookie Doe tries to swing out. He's fully blind. Now it's a one on four. Big Z, last alive, last to drop. It is no more Mr. Nice. Closing out the half with a 17 and 2 scoreline, bro. That is crazy. Doing work. Rain at 13 and 3, man. Man, oh man, it's going to be a tough crawl back into this one, but it starts right here with a pistol round. CSP Gold got to find a way to get themselves back on top. You can be just as aggressive on Haven on the defensive side as you are on the attack. The whole point of this map is taking away space and eliminating where these attackers can be. So my hope is that CSP Gold is going to stay strong and bounce back here and start to keep playing aggressive, man. The second you start just being respectful and you give Bushnell what they want, you're going to lose this game. So... Concordia St. Paul Gold has to stay strong-minded right now. Got to win this pistol round. Vista over at Platt here. Has the headhunter and has a pretty nasty angle, I must say. So hoping he doesn't get wide swung. Ooh, a few players spotted towards B main. One player spotted towards A short. A big split going on, but it seems to be an A hit. Almost certainly coming out here. Six stack getting knife, won't be able to dash out. Him and Big Z gonna have to stand tall. They start to drop him like flies. And just like that, it's a five on two. Six stack down to one HP. Getting decayed for a second. So gonna go back up a little bit. Only 18 in total. Has some teammates now to back him up. Both players noted at a short. Beautiful shock dart coming out from Cookie Dough. Now a one on four here. CSP still got to play together, and it's Goosey to close out. Pistol round found successfully for CSP Gold, and they start that iron wall of defense here early on the second half. So a must, must win round, and they did it. So Gold Squad getting off to the right start here on the second half. Still able to pull this one back if they can find some rounds here and get it going early, man. Winning here and then finding a bonus would be absolutely marvelous it would uh it would definitely make this game go a lot longer than to lose the bonus round so we'll have to see what gold squad can come up with but so far so good here gonna have some weaponry for their troubles one bulldog three specters and ooh, vista's going for the full save so gonna be trying to play this operator round three that's the big money move coming out from vista right there i like that showing he still has a little bit of brain power left Six stack creeping up a short with the Spectre. Not really spotting anything too much. Will spot fade at the end of it. So a little bit of information given over to these defenders. But a very slow start here from the attackers. Now Prowler coming out a long plus the knife. Big Z, I mean six stack and Big Z up again on the A site. And just like that, a full house coming out. Big Z with three and six stack with two. They shut down the A site yet again. Great flawless round coming out in round number 14 for the side of CSP Gold, but now this is the tricky round. Weaponry at a full for the attackers, and Vista has this operator out, so trying to pull the, the Mr. No more Mr. Nice, if you will. We'll see how long this operator can stand tall. Dude, he's going to take the same spot that he played, please. No, he's not doing it. I thought he was going to crouch back plat, man. Play the spot that he got killed on in the first half. I would have liked that. It was a bit predictable of an angle, but we'll see how it goes. Early Rainalier, and he moves before he shoots. Going to have to TP out right before the knife hits, so good on him. But now he's going aggressive. There's just no way. Beautiful shot coming out. KO. Got to be more patient than that. 5v4 now. Man advantage for the gold squad, but overall weaponry still in favor of Bushnell. So you got to play the numbers here for the side of CSP Gold. If this op can ring out for another Elim, it would be absolutely massive. Going for the traditional wall bang, not going to quite find it yet. The rest of the Gold Squad waiting for the retake. Smoke going out towards Long, and now time to put the pedal to the metal. Six stack and Vista going to swing out. Vista can't find the shot. Six stack for the trade. Now one more back sight. Two on two. One player default. One at back sight. Cookie Doe's got to move forward. Can't find the E-limbs. The dismiss out. 
And just like that, Cookie Dough makes it a one-on-one. -on -one. The dink on Reyna, but it's not enough time. Spike's surely going to explode at this rate. So, bonus round found, or not found, but very costly. Well worth it, but Vista investing the op, going all in, can't get it done. So now, going to be on a bit of a light buy himself, while the rest of his teammates will be buying up rifles. I do like the attempt coming out from Vista, but now here, another round that CSP Gold are definitely uh, wanting to come out on top in. A lot riding on this round here. Weaponry will be, uh, or economy rather, would be completely broke if the Gold Squad loses this round. So, almost looking at match point if this round is to go the way of Bushnell. CSP Gold got to get themselves up a man. Vista going aggressive in a short, doesn't see anything early. Cookie Dough clearing out towards C-Long, so nothing being shown. Got to be a bit of a mid-work coming out from these attackers Big Z and Six Stack moved over towards Garage now, and it's Vista to get dropped early. So, Goosey rotating over towards Heaven side, and now getting ready to try to shut down whatever push these attackers are going to deliver. KO Knife will shut down the breach in Heaven, and now Steps being heard approaching this A site on the hit. Big Z has from the shadows available if he chooses to use it, but right now, not a ton of ton of ultimate utility you could use. I mean, a decent amount of normal util on this retake. So we'll see how CSP Gold tries to get back into it. Big Z going to drop the smokes and then go for the paranoia. Six stack surely to take contact. There's one on both sides though, and it's unfazed with two on the shorty. The push is coming out. Big Z makes it a one on three, but now would have to find an ace clutch if he could do it. Gets tagged with the Marshall now, only nine HP, and it's not going to happen. A thrifty round found. A thrifty round? The attackers didn't even buy. Oh, that's tough, man. That is tough. That honestly, that could have been the nail. Because CSP are going to be on economy reset now. We're looking at match point going over the way of the attackers. So it's going to have to be played to perfection here for Concordia St. Paul. Going to have to use a timeout moving into the next round. Not going to use it on the eco. So... We'll see how that goes, but hopefully they could pull a rabbit out of the hat here and swing this round from nothing. Ahead. Would definitely help the chances of pulling back this map number one. Early C aggression and lots of it coming out. Players noted through this garage split and now smoked out. Cookie can't quite provide much support. And C site given over. Spike plant going down right now. CSP Gold going to be on a full retake situation. Astral Wall comes through. No more Mr. Nice going to shut down Vista. And now all the defenders are cut out of sight. But Big Z will find one. Gets himself this Phantom upgrade. Now trying to push forward. It's a four on four. Two players noted at back sight. Right here. C's not going to find anything. Cookie Dough looking for the shock. Maybe some chip damage. Now going for the dart out. Rest of the team's going to have to start moving on this retake. Nice shots coming out from Six Stack. A 3K. Now a two on one. They got to move quickly. Spike is ticking away fast. One at CT. Six stack runs out of ammo. Big Z, you don't have time. Walking it up to sight. There's just no time to win the round. Match point going the way of Bush now. Match point. Alrighty. Time to play perfect. I got to hit the timeout. I'm going to go hopefully inspire the boys.
Alrighty. Gonna have to be seven unanswered rounds here for Concordia St. Paul Gold if they want to bring this thing back and push it into overtime. Play, Likelihood or percentage of that uh, cannot you calibrate at the moment. Powerless. We'll have to see how it goes. I like the A aggression coming out. KO popping the no command and making quick work up C long. Almost certainly noting and giving away that it's a C hit coming out. Vista going down to almost zero HP instantaneously. After that wall bang dink coming out. Goosey in garage. Cookie Doe getting stunned or uh, suppressed rather. So two players dealing with Big Z on this flank. And getting just taken out, man. Couldn't even see rain on our screen. What a gross angle. KO up close in the smoke. Will get taken out by six stack. Been stepping up here through these last few rounds, but they're going to have to play to perfection. We already said it. Match point is against them. And now the retake has to come through. Six stack to lead. Cookie Doe finds the first trade. Nightfall coming out from long. All three defenders are playing long here for sure. One player pocket too long. Chambers got the tour to force, man. And no time's going to be on the clock. That is map number one going the way of Bushnell. CSP Gold going to have to reset before we get into things on ascent. Good shots coming out for Goosey, but there's no time on the clock. And that's game number one. So good effort, but adaptions are going to have to be made for ascent. We'll catch you guys back in a little bit.
Alrighty, we are back into it. Loading on in for Ascent, map two of the evening. One minor substitution coming out for the CSP Gold Squad. Six stack stepping out and Volo stepping in. So we'll see if that fares any better for the Gold Squad as they get ready for things on Ascent here. Otherwise, lineup looking identical, agents and all. So excited to get back into it here. Hoping that CSP Gold can push this thing to a map three and go the diff distance. But it all is going to start out with a pistol round. So one round at a time here is the goal for the Gold Squad. As they got a bit of a work in handed to them on Haven to kick off the series. But honestly, nothing too out of the ordinary, right? Gold Squad has come back down one in the past couple of weeks. So this squad has been showing a bit of resilience going down early in a series and being able to bounce back. So we'll see if they can showcase a little bit more of that magic here tonight. But getting ready to get back into it right here, right now on Ascent. Early smoke mid and a bit of an A split coming out here for the side of the gold squad. Nice opener coming out from Volo. Going to take out the opposing jet. Vista going to add one to the tally. And just like that, a five on three for the gold squad. Trying to get things rolling early here. Good take coming out originally. Unfazed is going to find one. Will get traded out by Cookie Dough. Now a four on two. Two very low HP bars on the side of Chamber. Plus. One enemy remaining. Two defenders pop out, and it's Big Z to close out a big four on two found in CSP Gold will start things out right, taking a pistol round and getting things off to the right track here on Ascent. So, very good opener coming out from the lads as we get ready for round number two. Just gave me a great idea. Here we go. Kicking it back. Supporting the neck. I hope this doesn't affect the voice quality too much. We should be okay. There's a bit of a B split coming out here. Dark going to spot nothing as the gold squad eliminates that quickly. Oh, I guess I got to still spectate. Man, that sucks. Nice dash out from Volo. Going to find the first quickly off the back of the stinger now. Oh, yeah, I guess. That too. A few players swinging out through CT. Volo heard that TP come out. Nice frags found from Vista and Goosey now. And a 5 on 2. Make it a 5 on 1. And it's Goosey with the 3k. A flawless round found from the gold squad. And man, getting things going early here. So, nice opener in rounds here to kick off map 2 on Ascent. Uh, a definite much needed start here for the gold squad to get... Get a few rounds under their belt early here. So now if they could convert a bonus round, this is this is the big goal here. Going up 3-0, resetting the opposition financially and pumping them back to an eco round would be awesome way to kick off ascent. Gold squad down map one. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Twitch chat. Let me do something real fast. Oh, it does say game two. I didn't change it from earlier. So I don't have to change it. We're good. Game two of three. I just was lazy and didn't change it the first time. So that means, yeah. It means what it means. Kenny going to find first with the Vandal. Now the rest of the Golden Bear squad trying to flood onto the B site. Couple frags found from Big Z. So big opportunity now in a three on three. Weaponry picked up. Vista's got a Vandal for his troubles. Drone coming out from Cookie Dough. Going to spot one at market. They know one player CT. Vista, a headshot would be mighty fine here. Ah, oh, he just is slow, man. He can't click fast enough. A good try, man. But man... Real Chambers clicking that heady. Couple players pushing out from lane. Cookie Dough watching the stairwell. No shots coming through yet. The flash out. Vista takes out the chamber. And they both swing lane. And Cookie Dough and Vista shut it down. Bonus round found for CSP Gold. And this is looking like a reinvigorated team here on Ascent. Looking to really show up and push this to a map three. Here. 
gotta give a quick shout out to Big Z. He's been playing great today. Been playing great today. Offensively, defensively, getting it done right now. The big man on the server. Speaking of Big Z, how's from the shadows available? So, ooh, Crow hitting a dirty Marshall shot top mid. Taking Vista out of the round. So, and we're just not paying attention. Like, I don't know. Like, I heard the shot. Three on four. Man advantage for the side of Bush now. And somehow, man, after you win bonus round, I swear it is a curse to lose the round after you win the bonus, man. I see this way too often. Cookie Dough still keeping him in it. Two on three now. Swing and mark it. He will get taken out. But Big Z, a bit of a flank. He knows he has two players up to his right. What can you produce here, Big Z? Will spot out. Sova first. Has ultimate available. Creeping into CT. He knows Chamber was close at market with the Marshall. So, Big Z going for the ultimate play right now. Trying to grab this spike. He missed it, man. That is... He got it. Okay. Thank goodness he got that thing. I would have I would have lost it. Would have lost it. Going to close the door. Now, Big Z from a one-on-three into a one-on-two. Spike going to go down here. So, a very winnable round here for Big Z. Was just giving him credit, man. If he could pull this one off. I mean, yeah, it's going to have to be another dinner that I owe the boys. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it out there. Flash out from KO at lane. Big Z going to get spotted on this knife. He has to isolate the ones. He finds Chamber. 30 HP. He tags up the KO. Listening patiently for the drop. The jiggles, the jiggles, the shimmy shake. Big Z won't find it. It's Ginger to close out a very close clutch attempt. Nonetheless... In the eco round, going back the way of Bushnell, it was well thought out. But man, oh man, you drop a few too many to that jet in mid with the Marshall. That trade's got to come out more effectively, especially after giving away a position like that. But in the end of it, CSP still having quite the finances in their department. Going to be able to buy up, no problem here. As they lead 3-1 through 4. Round number 5 on the horizon. Bladestorm available for the defenders, so... The side of Bush now trying to build their economy. If they drop this round, it's going to go back to uh, almost nothing. So a big opportunity for CSP to push things 4-1 and also ruin the defense's finances. Knife going to spot a couple towards A main. The rest of the B players waiting out the Sova dart. I like this. Not breaking it. Not giving any info over to the defending side. So going to be up to guess and listen. Opposition smokes off main. Big Z threw a smoke at tree. So a bit of a fake coming out. Goosey going to unleash the rolling thunder on a site. Volo getting tagged up a little bit, but now about to go out. And he's dashing into smokes. Can't quite find the shots. And it's two players from CSP that drop, but it all was for a fake. And now the rest of the squad flooding onto this B site, man. They're going to have to find some elims because just playing on site here in a three on five is not going to be it. Cookie saved the drone early on the drone early on the drone nothing hit on the tag you save that drone twitch chat pro tip you spot them now but it's like you know you're not really playing off of that uh drone utility vista on a flank mid is going to get spotted out and known and he's shut off in market so nowhere to go on that flank and now it's a one on five for big z he kills ko early but he's responding mean, resible gonna find one but will go down in the end and too many attack or defenders rather alive for that retake a good idea coming out from the golden bears but a little bit uh, disjointed in terms of the team play. So now two rounds go in the way of Bushnell and starting to put a little bit of a dent in this CSP gold lead. Now only down one here. Plus an ultimate advantage. So a bit of tools to play off of here. You got the Tour de Force for Chamber plus Bladestorm for Jet. So we'll have to see how they decide to use it. Vista, on the other hand, popping this Tour de Force early. Looks to be playing towards top mid. We'll make sure we highlight what this chamber is able to spot out early. I think the cat smoke slash B split play is almost certainly underway here. Beast's going to draw contact right about now. Thinking about it. Drone goes out first. Smoke holding off this catwalk position. And Volo's leading the charge. Let's switch over. And Volo, the beautiful headshot onto the opposition's chamber. Now dashing forward like a madman. Trying to create space. And... Relieve a little bit of pressure from this CT position. Tries to catch Jet out. Won't happen. Good shots coming out from Vista, though. Taking out two rotators through mid. And now a four on two. Jet known in spawn. And Vista now rushing through the tree spot. 
holding tree cross now and calling for his teammates to rotate over to the A site, hoping that it's going to be clear. Soba normally over on the B side of things, and now Spike Plant initiated on default. Nice kill from Big Z, found over at B main, and it's Vista with the 3K, dropping the jet, and it's a 4-2 advantage the way to CSP Gold. So big round coming out from the Gold Squad. Making some plays happen in the middle of the map, taking space, and then overall out-rotating the defenders, creating that man advantage. So very well played coming out from the attacking half here from Gold Squad on game number two. Definite step up in performance from uh, most of the squad right now. That fire gets lit after game one. Game one's the warm-up for Gold Squad is what we're figuring out, I think, is uh, the real meta. Early one-way smoke thrown out towards A main. Knife going to spot a couple. KO noted at Catwalk. Vista creeping forward in mid. Has Volo to back him up on Cat. Hearing a few steps around mid, but a little bit anxious. He might get pushed from the flank. Volo in six stack going to sneak. I mean, Volo in Vista sneaking through main. What a headshot coming out from Vista. Kid had his G Fuel tonight. Now pushing onto the A site. Door going to be closed up. Golden Bear's going to push out. They don't clear wine, but they get the trade. Now a four on three. Blade Storm and Tour de Force still available for these defenders. And now the Hunter's Fury comes out. Crow finds two with the Blade Storm. And just like that, the numbers have flipped again. Jet is out. Heaven! Where are the comms? Choice. It is so personal, no? You pick a gun and it tells me who you are. I need a drop. Tuck, tuck. All righty. Bush now with a big bounce back round, finding their third of the game. One round advantage to the gold squad and now reapproaching this A site. Wasting no time doing so. A bit of a mirror from last round. Big Z up close with the spike creeping out. Getting ready to drop some smokes. He throws one over towards mid trying to make it so Vista can cross here. But where is contact going to come from? No information gathered on this A site quite yet. So our attackers are moving blind as of right now. Jet spotted at dice. Drone coming out. A paranoia towards Jenny. Jet throwing that cloud burst over towards right side of the site. Updraft to heaven. Shot's not quite going to land. Cookie to lead. Jet just swinging out heaven like an absolute madman. How does he get a 3k again? I, I'm losing my mind. This is... This is unreal. Big shots coming out from Crow, I guess. You gotta tip the hat to him. Judge okay. just not missing right now. Oh, I got things to do. Keep your eye on target. Big opening op shot from Nomar Mr. Nice. I feel like I haven't said that an entire game, and the fact that he's got it in his hands again is going to cause some problems for the CSP Gold Attack. 4 4 being the scoreline now. So, four rounds left in this one as CSP Gold going for a rotate over to the A site. They lose one early. KO going to get taken out. Volo spotting that one. Got to be quicker than that one, Mr. KO. Not going to fly with an aimer like Volo on the squad. Has Bladestorm available. Going to throw the Vandal over to Goosey. I like it. Keeping the blades for himself. Goosey now creeping forward at Cat. Volo leading the charge now. The fearless entry coming out. Cookie going to clear out towards Wine. Not seeing anything. And now droning out. Volo getting flashed into tree. Jumping up aggressively. And looking to take space. Throws the knife at a ghost. Omen takes one out from Dice. And now a two on four. Numbers favoring Bushnell. Goosey in a one on three. Down a. 30 seconds left. What more can you provide here, Goose? Will get spotted by that dart. 
and now position is known. Kenny going to find the wall bang, and it's a 4-5 to five lead now for Bushnell as they are starting to string some rounds here at the end of the first half. 4-5 to five, still not a troubling scoreline. Like, if CSP could still come out with two more rounds and make it a 6-6 six, six half, I'd say job well done. Even a fifth round would be marvelous. I mean, Ascent is such an, a, a defense-sided map. Like, I, I can't kid you enough, Twitch chat. Like, you got to trust Coach Scap on this one, okay? Defense-sided map all the way through. If Gold Squad can put up two more rounds, I'm calling game in the bag. We're going to map three. We'll see how it plays out, though. Utility coming in towards the A site in a full-on five-man seeming to be the play call for CSP Gold. Big Z going for a From the Shadows over to B site as a fake. So we'll see what this finds. The Rolling Thunder to lead on to A. Volo, the first point of contact. Cookie going to find first blood. Goosey to follow it up. Now Big Z on a god flank will get taken out by the Sova. Three on three now. Hunter's Fury available for Cookie, so I'd love to see him get out of dodge and go play for that ultimate. Is it going to happen? I don't think so. Nice drone spotting out both players. Get on out of there! Play for the ulti! He's playing Jenny. Alrighty. Hey, play the crossfire too. I mean, you got the number advantage. Three on two still. Time ticking away. Over halfway ticked on the spike now. Good shots coming up from Goosey. The 3k! The 4k from the Rocket League captain! He's going crazy! We know the drill. Stick to your roles and we'll crush it. Does anyone have fun? I need this. Thank you. Merci. Here. Here. Asking you shall receive CSP gold. Deliver round number five of this attacking half, man. What has been a much, much better look on attack here on Ascent than what we got on Haven. I'll go ahead and apologize to the viewers for that. Jack gonna whiff an op shot. How about you put it away, buddy? Doing a lot more work with that Vandal. I think that was Chamber in mid with an op. So I think duo op set up right now for this defending squad. Jet have one towards A. Chamber's got one at mid. You just group up. You burn some utility and you hard hit a site. That's the best way. I mean, forcing ops to retake is not something that ops like to do. So putting the pressure on those ops, they have two of them right now. You stop messing around and you lay the pedal to the metal. You rush this A site. They give them a lot of time. Omen peeks out from wine. A good breach clear out, but a TP surely to follow. Volo dashes up, but he's already gone. I mean, he TP'd. And a nade out and a paranoia to follow. And now CSP is locked out of this A site. With no real way back into it. We know an op's holding this. So we'll see how they adapt. 40 seconds now as the round's starting to tick away. And they're going for the hit. They are calling their bluff. The paranoia is out. Volo about to dash on in. Goes for the door shut. One player close. They don't clear close right. They get the trades though. Now a two on two. Both these players last noted with operators. Cookie Doe still with that Hunter's Fury. One playing close, Volo at the generator. They're both watching the same angle. I mean, here we go. Playing for the one on two, I guess. They better hope that this guy doesn't swing heaven. Volo saw him. One player close with the operator. Swing him, Cookie! I'm losing it, man. I'm getting so nervous, guys. I'm sweating. Two on one. There it is. There it is. There it is. I never doubted him. 6-5, CSP gold, making it happen. One round left in the first half. CSP have found six, so best that Bushnell can do is tie us up at six even. But opportunity for a 7-5. Insta dash in from Volo, man. Wasting no time getting it rolling right here, right now. Smoking out his push over to switch. Closing out the market door. So now, opportunity. Door being broken already. Volo's up close here. Could put an end to this push. Shock Dart going out. No more Mr. Nice. Going to take out Big Z on the flank side. And now the Omen Blind coming from B main. So two players on the flank already. Goosey is in a tucked position. So a big spot and opportunity. One player at market. One out. Goosey up close. 
It's only Big Z in a one on three. We saw nothing, Twitch chat. Get out of my way. Smoked out. Blade Storm coming out from the shadows being used by Omen. Oh my goodness, they know exactly where you are. What? All right, six, six, half. We take it. Evened up. No problems there. You know, we gave him that one. Bushnell needed a freebie. We gave him a handout. Quick six, six. No problems there. And we'll catch on the defensive side of things. Switching sides. I got your backs. Just, you know, from the front. Defense is coming up. Twitch chat, let's hear the hype for the Golden Bears. We're making it happen. Tied up through the first half here. Need a win on map number two to push things forward to Icebox and map three. It would be very much in the gold fashion to bring this one back. But nothing spotted on the Dart B main and nothing spotted at A main. So a very slow attack coming out. But as I say that, three... Monkeys jumping through a smoke. I don't know what that approach was, but Bushnell is landed on the line here and rushing this A site. Volo sweating bullets through the smoke. Not going to find anything critical. Big Z will find the first of the round. So still standing tall. Has Paranoia available. Will go down to the second shock. So a bit of a sticky situation out for this retake. Drone going to find one. The breach clear out. I like it from Goose. The flash as well. Volo going to find one. Now the drop in from Goosey. Volo getting another. Big dog on the server. Two on one now. KO still up. But it's Cookie Dough. Of course it's Big Cook coming out. 7-6. CSP Gold will find the pistol round. Man, making me sweat for this one. I, I'm not liking this. This is getting too close for comfort is what we call that one. But hey, look at the kill spread, man. Look at the kill spread, man. The boys are doing good right now. This is impressive. Here we have it. One round lead for the gold squad. They found pistol round. Another big round coming up here. They cannot afford to give a thrifty over to the side of Bush now. They got to stay strong. Got to stay disciplined. And they got to keep weapons alive. That is the big thing on these round number twos. Is keeping weapons in play for your bonus. We saw CSP Gold come out with the bonus round in the first half. To kick off the game. And now Vista... Going to find one with the headhunter and takes him out. No problem. Cookie to back up now. Spike being dropped outside of B main. So these defenders surely got to know what's coming up. Big Z spot one up at tree. Decides to fall back for a second. Trying to go for a smoke off. Has the bulldog in hand. So should be able to uh, ooh, effectively take care of that. I like that spray coming out. We'll catch you later, Crow. Now Big Z getting haunted out. Bit of an aftershock stun through coming for Goose. The Spectre at long range. Ooh. Goosey, don't tempt me. Cookie dough. Wait, Spike got planted. Cookie Dough's trying to retake the site. I guess. How did they get on the site? Like, that's not real. Cookie Dough, though. Enemy Gonna stick this. Easy money. We stick those. All right, CSP Gold drop one for their troubles. They do give over the spike plant, so about 300 extra gold credits uh, given over to the side of Bushnell. So a bit of extra utility going into this first gun round for them. Bonus still in the cards here. Vista didn't go for the op save this time for the bonus, so... I mean, it didn't work out, but he did get two big uh, elims in that first map. I think I would have liked to see it again. Still stick with it, but here we have bonus round coming out for Concordia St. Paul. We'll see uh, what they decide to do. I think an aggressive place coming out. It looks to be Goosey's going to flash tiles, and I think Volo's about to dash in here. So this is going to get hectic off rip. Let's see what he can find. Yup, early smoke, the dash out. Nothing at B-Main. Nothing at B-Main. It's full clear. It's got to be a hit. Full clear. I like that. Instantaneously clearing out everything at B-Main. Now they certainly know an A hit is about to pop. 
dashing out of a main. Slow getting one. Goosey going for the spam through smoke. Won't quite find the shots. And Spike Plant going down. Drone out from Cookie. Spotting two players at close switch. Vista now on the flank. Heard the TP across from Chamber and doesn't quite get the timing on him as he rotates out. Now picking up the Spectre for the Troubles trying to get in on this flank. We'll break the trip. And now Chamber going to know what's going on. We'll keep tuned in for Vista here. See if he's able to find this gunny. Meets two defenders, so won't quite be able to find it. Now going to have to get on their horse on this attack or on this retake, but not going to happen. A flawless round going over to the side of Bushnell, cutting that round lead to one. But now Gold Squad back in the buy, back in the money zone here and looking to put up a stout defensive hold for the remainder of this one. As heavy implications going into this round. Money not going to be good if CSP Gold can shut them out here. But if Bushnell win this round, they will even up the score at 8-8 and also have some good finances moving forward into the next coming round. So big opportunity for the Gold Squad to shut down a push. Volo dashes in aggressively. We'll find the first of the round. Can I switch to Goosey, please? Now four on four, an updraft out from the jet as they try to take some A main space back. Big Z gonna put a smoke down and hold off these attackers. Now Vstat bottom mid looking for any kind of rotations from these attackers, but so far nothing being signified or given over to these defenders that a rotate could be in play. Good shot from Vista. Didn't quite catch it on the observer, but I know it was a quick heady. Ooh, Vista. Trademark spotted one for a brief second. Swings in a chamber. Can't quite find the gunny. And now a two on three. Going to have to be a full retake here. Goosey and Big Z, man. A lot on their plate. But these two have been the highest performers so far in ascent. Door being closed on A. So certainly an A hit coming out as you can hear the K ultimate going off. And it's going to be Big Z and Goose. Both trying to come out from heaven here. Trying to see if you can spot Chamber towards Tree, but still nothing being spotted. Big Z going to go for the smoke. And now both these players going to try to go together. Dark coming out. Not going to be spotted. So positions are known. KO swings by himself. Will go down. One player at Jenny will get taken out. Now a one-on-one. -on -one. Big Z. Last player either main or, tr or Tree. We drop down from behind him. Not ready for it. A full-on walk flank from No More Mr. Nice. A good attempt coming out, but now 8-8 eight, eight and tied up scoreline weaponry not looking so grand for the side of the defenders. So now going to be back to it here, looking at an eco and uh, desperately trying to you know do what economy damage you can here is the name of the game. No real weapons being brought into this round for the defending side of the blue squad. And fast A hit underway. Beautiful play from Volo. Going to take out the lurking chamber. So almost certainly should know that an A hit is coming out. Jet dashing out on the site. Big Z hit the shots. 110 on the jet. Very low. So a big opportunity now for Golden Bears to get back into this round. And get back into this game with a thrifty. Jet down to 1 HP. Already a one man advantage. So all they got to do is breathe on this jet. And she's going to die. Vista committing the tour to force. And CSP going for broke on this retake. Drone coming out. They got to break it for him. Drone going to clear out. Paranoia to hit Jenny. So players either in the hell position or towards main jet running around. Doesn't know what quite is going on, but Hunter's Fury is available. So CSP got to get the ball rolling. They got to get the tap in. They're running out of time. Hunter's Fury coming out now. KO is just spraying at nothing. Shots aren't connecting. The stick doesn't happen. It's halved. But CSP running out of time, and that's going to be the round going over to Bushnell. It came down to a millisecond, but in the end, it is Bushnell to find the round, and it's time to burn this tag time out.
Here. Alrighty. Here. A backbreaker of a round coming up here, folks. 8-9 being the scoreline. Bushnell Uni with a one-round lead. And now CSP Gold definitely trying to get back into it. A fast KO hit coming towards the B site and almost certainly a full-on B rush. Jet is already updrafted out onto the site. Not ready for it. And CSP going to get caught off guard off the back of that early aggression onto A. So site being given over now. Knife up close. Volo clears close market. Will dash back to safety. Can't find the shots on the unfazed. Good trades coming out, but not quickly enough. And now a one on three already. Big Z makes it a one on two. We need the heroics right now. We're all praying in the Big Z cult. Come through for us. Give us that 1v3. Come on, man. We need it right now. KO flash from backsight. Dart going to spot him out. Now a one on one. Still getting scanned by this dart. No way, Big Z! No way, Big Z! There's just no way! Who gives a damn about the dart? Big Z makes it 9-9, and CSP Gold are not out of this thing yet! I'm not even going to give credit to the timeout. Full credit to Big Z. Dinner's on me, big boy. You just earned it. I'm getting you the cheap McDonald's $1 menu, baby. McChicken's on me. McChicken's on me. All right, fast A hit coming out again from Bushnell. Jet dashing out. Updraft onto Jenny. Take a seat, boy. Volo shutting it down with the duo knives. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Easy, easy, Bushnell. Easy, easy. Two on four now. Three golden bears dropping quickly. Big Z though. Down to 30 HP. Tags up the enemy omen low. They hear the TP out to safety. So Big Z gonna have to play very cautiously with this amount of HP. Goosey, it's your turn to step up. One on three, not gonna happen. Big round found for Bushnell. 10-9 now. Two fast hits, man. Two extremely fast hits coming out from them, wasting zero seconds of you know, working time or anything, just instantly going for it. So CSP Gold going to have to play a little bit more of a retake uh, situation, I'd say, or go for a gamble stack. Those are your only two options, right? Uh, two different sites being hit and an instantaneous five-man. So going to have to, I'd say, go aggressive, man. Go aggressive, take some space again, you know. So we'll see how they approach it. Vista's up close at B main, has cookie dough with him. Doesn't hear anything, and Crow's going to open it up over at the A site. Volo instantly taken out, and now down a man. Knife coming out. CSP Gold are on the back foot, and this site is going to be taken from the side of Bushnell. Rolling Thunder available for Goosey. Hunter's Fury coming out from Cookie, trying to find some tags. Shots aren't going to be found. Two more bodies are dropping. And now Cookie Dough in a one-on-five, man. The numbers are not in his favor. Only 30 HP as well. So very tough situation to be in for Cookie Dough. We'll take out another. And in the end, we'll go down. But these fast hits right now coming out from Bushnell are really uh, paying dividends for the squad. CSP Gold not really respecting it. So... Wish I could call another time out, but that's not a thing. So we're going to have to sit here in silence and uh, hope for the best. CSP Gold down two rounds now on an eco here. So could be looking at match point now heading over to the side of Bush now. Unless they could pull off some more shenanigans on a thrifty round. I mean, it, it would take it would take a miracle to pull this thrifty here. Standing ahead. Beast still going to get tagged up in mid, down to 20 HP. One player towards top mid. A good tuck in B main here from Cookie. Crow already out onto the A site. Volo going to find one with the shorty. So a bit of damage taken care of, but right now a three on four. Big Z, paranoia, but will go down. So at this point, match point almost locked in here for the side of Bushnell. Beast only 20 HP to his name, no weapon. 
He's closed off in the door. Him and Cookie are both together. It's just a very, very tough situation to be in for CSP. Trying to do as much damage as possible. But, I mean, they're going to have money for the remainder of the game at this point, I'd say. Dark going to spot it out. Six shot from Vista. Now with two on three. I mean, it's doable, but it's very unlikely. Cookie Doe swinging out. One on two. Will go down. Now match point to the attackers. And CSP Gold on the back of having to win three rounds in a row here now. And we're not buying an op, man. I just don't want it that bad then. Like, like I don't. It just doesn't compute in my head. I'm trying to think about it, but like we need an op. A sense an op map. I know I play a lot of chamber, but come on. Give me the op. I've taught him better than this. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can shut down this push. But with KO ultimate available, I knew a fast hit was about to come in immediately. And it's a full-on A rush coming at you again. Volo, they know exactly where you are, my friend. Good luck. He takes out KO, but guess what? KO can be revived. Cookie Doe will take out the Omen in a trade. Now four on four as KO getting rezzed. Cookie Doe will swing out and take another one, making it an even three on three.